Vandals covered Dallas police headquarters with red handprints last night. Two women questioned by police. Fox 4's Dan Godwin joins us with the latest developments. Dan? Lauren, the Dallas PD has managed to do some pretty quick work in getting all of this vandalism cleaned up. It looks like the last of the many, many handprints and red paint are gone. There was also some anti-police slogans written in chalk on the concrete leading up to the main police headquarters building here. Uh, this is what it all looked like uh, about 8.30 last night just after the vandalism was discovered lots and lots of red hand prints and some other graffiti on windows and columns and other exterior surfaces police say two women were detained for questioning regarding all of this but they have since been released prior to this incident investigators say about 30 people had showed up outside police headquarters for what investigators say was a planned protest also about half a mile from this location, the Dallas Police Association building was also defaced. Similar damage there, handprints in red paint, some other markings. Now, we talked to the vice president of the DPA this morning. He said what happened there and at the Jack Evans building here on South Lamar was the result of a protest, and the officer expressed frustration that the vandalism happened and said it shouldn't at a building with as much protection as police headquarters. Wouldn't you think that that would be the most secure building downtown Dallas, police headquarters, where victims have to go, where officers work every single day? That would be the that would be like the Fort Knox of buildings in downtown, but yet it gets tagged last night by individuals that come every single night, the same crew, and they did whatever they want with no consequences. Police here at department headquarters say they believe the two incidents were connected and it's believed they were the work of the same group. We shot this video a couple of hours ago this morning showing a second crew removing the paint and other markings. Now, a statement from the department did say this is still very much an active and open investigation and that surveillance video from last night is being reviewed as part of that inquiry. Reporting live at DPD headquarters, Dan Godwin on Good Day.